so hello everyone so welcome to this new session so in the previous sessions we have completed with the problems of divergence divergence theorem gauss law and all of second module so we are uh, reaching to the end of the module second module that is we have left with the few more topics so we are going to cover it in a few sessions so the next topic here is energy expended in a moving point charge okay so what is the expression here we are getting it that and all we are going to discuss right now so now let's discuss with some of the few points in generally which we know okay that is efi that is electric field intensity is a force per unit charge we know that as per the definition in short we can say it so to move a test charge against the electric field the force which is equal to and opposite are required okay that is in order to move a test charge against the electric field that is opposite to the electric field by repelling it so the force required should be equal and opposite okay the force should be equal as well as opposite in order to repel the charge so the same way this requires to expend energy so whenever we need to repel any charge or we need to be having the change in force we need to be expecting a certain amount of energy okay so if the charge is moving in the direction of field then there is no need to do work okay field does it so if the charge is moving uh, is more in the direction of field so we can say that the work done is less because the field only the field uh, direction only does the work in most of the cases so that's why let the charge q be moved at a distance dl okay this is the specific comp uh, component we are taking that is dl in an electric field e then the force q the, then the force on charge q here uh, due to the electric field is given as f is equal to q times e okay this relation you need to be drawing very carefully that is f is equal to q times e with the given condition that we need to be having some amount of energy in, in order to move the uh, charge in the direction of field so that's why we will, we will be getting an equation force is equal to q times e okay so in order to uh, simply uh, validate this equation we can say that the work done using this equation we can also form an equation for work done that is the work done to displace a charge by a distance dl is given as dw that is rate of change of work is equal to minus f dot dl okay this is the equation also we can write it as uh, f is q times e right so minus q times e dot dl also is equal to minus q times integration of initial to final uh, e dot dl okay we can say that this is the main equation uh, when uh, there are all the components given uh, ready made you can uh, direct use this formula and uh, uh, try to find the value of work done and also if there are any limits given in the question we can use this formula that is minus q into the integration of initial term to final term that is initial position to final position e dot dl okay so this dl value varies with respect to uh, with respect to the field length of uh, the amount of charge present in it okay so this doesn't have a fixed value this would be changing with respect to the change in charge so that's why this is the equation which we are getting for dw that is rate of change of work so please note this formula this is a very important formula using this formula many problems would be asked but we are going to solve uh, one problem which would be having three sub questions so in order to make you clear about the concept so yeah please uh, if you want you can make a note of this explanation if you want and uh, now we are going to solve one problem so yeah let's see the question so this is the question so in this question they have given the value of e that is 1 by z square into 8xyz ax vector plus 4x square z ay vector minus 4x square y z vector newtons per coulomb the uh, unit of e electric field intensity so find the differential amount of work done in moving a 6 nano coulomb charge nano that is 10 to the power minus 9 you might be knowing it at a distance of 2 micrometer this is the symbol of micro the value is 10 to the power minus 6 starting hope you might be knowing this children so starting at uh, p is equal to 2 comma minus 2 comma 3 they have mentioned the values for uh, the coordinates that is x y z okay and proceeding in the following directions okay in the following directions means we have uh, three different directions here the value of l d l so the first sub question is for the value of d l is given like this okay yeah so now you let's use the formula and let's try to solve 
that is we know that the dw differential amount of work done is given as minus q into e dot dl right this is the formula so now in this formula they have uh, men mentioned the value of uh, charge they have given the value of e and also in the sub question they have mentioned the value of dl direct substitution and solving so uh, let's let's substitute and solve right now that is minus q this q i would i would be substituting at, substituting at the end okay yeah in order to avoid the much number of terms and uh, avoiding confusion so let's uh, so keep this q as it is for now 1 by z square the value of e i am substituting it 8xyz ax plus 4x square z ay minus 4x square y z dot dl right minus 6 by 7 ax plus 3 by 7 ay plus 2 by 7 az okay so if it's not visible i have uh, told you from my mouth so you can listen it and you can write it down okay so dw is equal to q minus q into 1 by z square and this is the dot product right this term dot this term so we need to be applying the dot product that is in case of dot product the coefficients would be multiplied that is 8xyz into minus 6 by 7 and ax dot ax is equal to 1 right similarly ax ax dot ay is equal to 0 so this multiplied by this term would be 0 and ax dot az is equal to 0 so again if we cross multiply this term and this term again this will be 0 so we, we, we are left with only multiplication of this term and this term and also the multiplication of this term and this term since the the dot products of the corresponding unit vectors are 1 rest of all the dot products are 0 so that is plus 4x square z into the coefficient of ay vector is 3 by 7 minus 4x square y into 2 by 7 ok yeah into 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 they have mentioned the distance also right that also we need to be writing specifying it while solving the problem 2 micrometer so now substitute the value of charge if you want minus 6 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by uh, z square so now we can substitute the values of x y and z the value of z here in the question is 3 right 3 so 3 square is 9 okay minus 8 into 6 is 48 so minus 48 uh, x y z the value of x is 2 y is minus 2 and z is 3 divided by 7 plus 4 3s are 12 and x square so 2 square is 4 and the value of z is 3 divided by 7 minus 4 2s are 8 x square is 2 square 4 into uh, the value of uh, y is minus 2 divided by 7 into 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 ok yeah. so these are just the simple mathematical calculation you can uh, solve it so after solving uh, for all of this the final answer which we are getting is 149 femtojoules ok femtojoules those who don't know what is femto I think so most of the people would not be knowing what is fento this is a new term so nothing much you have studied it you know just it's difficult for you to recall but the value of fento is 10 to the power minus 15 okay so we can write that 149 into 10 to the power minus 15 joules so this is your answer okay this is the value of dw differential amount of work done in this case so please solve this okay i am not going to solve it step by step it's a waste of time so hope you might be knowing to solve this so yeah let's go to the next sub question so yeah, this is the next sub question here the value of dl they have given it 6 by 7 ax vector plus 3 by 7 ay vector plus 2 by 7 az vector so using this differential formula so yeah, now let's solve for the work done dw 
so in this in this time i'm going to directly substitute the value of q if you want you can substitute at last no problem 6 nano coulomb into the direction 2 micrometer into e dot dr the value of e is 1 by z square times of this right so i am just going to eliminate this uh, 1 by z square and i am going to directly multiply this term and i am writing it as 8xy pi z ax since if we have 1 by z square if we multiply inside what would be getting 8xy z divided by z square right okay if we get 8xyz by z square, if we cancel 1z again, we would be remaining with this term only. That is 8xy by z. So in the same way for this term also 4x square by z ay vector minus 4x square y by az vector by z square into az vector. Okay. Dot 6 by 7 ax minus 3 by 7 ay minus 2 by 7 az okay so yeah now let's solve this further so if we multiply those two terms 6 uh, minus 6 nano coulomb and 2 micrometer you would be getting it as minus 12 into 10 to the power minus 15 into 6 by 7 uh, we will be multiplying the coefficients 8xy by z minus 3 by 7 into 4x square by z plus 2 by 7 into 4x square y by z square ok yeah so dw is equal to minus 12 into 10 to the power minus 15 into 6 eighths of 48 xy by 7z minus 3 fours are 12, 12 x square by 7z 2 fours are 8 8 x square y by 7z square so now here again substitute the value of x y and z minus 15 divided by 48 into x is 2 and y is minus 2 divided by 7 into 3 2L into x square that is 2 square is 4 divided by 7 into 3 plus 8 into 2 square is 4 again 4 into minus 2 divided by 7 z square 3 square is 9 okay yeah so after further simplifying this term the answer finally we are going to get is minus 149 femtojoules okay this time we are getting minus 149 femtojoules after solving this okay if you want you can solve this that is corresponding to minus 149 into 10 to the power minus 15 joules okay this joules is because the SI unit of work is joules right so that's why this J J stands for joules those who don't know yeah so this is the answer for second sub question let's go for the third sub question now so yeah this is the third sub question the value of DL is 3 by 7 AX plus 6 by 7 AY so we know that this is the differential amount of work done formula so now substitute the value of uh, direction and uh, charge ok so distance and charge that is minus 6 into 10 to the power minus 9 into 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 into again the value of E after multiplying 1 by z square is 8xy by z ax vector plus 4x square by z ay vector minus 4x square y divided by z square az vector dot 3 by 7 ax plus 6 by 7 ay ok so dw is equal to after multiplying this minus 12 into 10 to the power minus 15 uh, multiply the coefficients 3 by 7 into 8xy by z plus 6 by 7 into 4x square by z plus 
zero since there is no a z term so zero into minus four x square y by z square that is again zero so d w is equal to minus twelve into ten to the power minus fifteen divided by three x or twenty four x y by seven z plus twenty four x square by seven z and this is zero so now substitute the value of x y and z minus twelve into ten to the power minus fifteen twenty four into two into minus two the value of x and y divided by seven into three plus twenty four into uh, value of uh, x is two so x square is four divided by seven into three so now twelve into ten to the power minus fifteen twenty four into minus four divided by twenty one plus twenty four into four divided by twenty one so here we can see that Uh, 24 or uh, 4 divided by 21. That is, dW is equal to minus 12 into 10 to the power minus 15. Uh, 24 fours are uh, 96 by 21 plus again 24 fours are 96 by 21. So this is zero. So the whole term is would be becoming zero. So the final value of uh, differential amount of work done is zero joules. Okay. So yeah, we have solved three sub questions here. You can refer it. You can see the video. Pause the video and uh, refer each step down. This detailed explanation you won't be getting anywhere with the each steps and all. So please refer the video. Please like, share, subscribe. Please, please do it, guys. Exams are coming near. Uh, around a month is remaining for exam. So please, this is the first exam you are going to have. So please study hard and uh, refer the video and try to solve. So that's all. Thank you.